We are here at an exclusive event organized by Salon Bank for all their premier and red customers to get a glimpse, capture a shot of the William Webb Ellis Trophy. An incredible moment uh, given to us courtesy of MasterCard. Shanaka, absolutely brilliant moment for Salon Bank, for their premier customers and also rugby fans like us. What a privilege to be just in the same room as this trophy, uh, Sudarshan. I think it's a fantastic opportunity for the customers of uh, the bank. And I think it's just going to be an inspirational moment for even people who are not rugby fans. Because there are these moments in life where you realize, wow, this is, this is significant. And this is one of those moments. Yes, it's a global, it's a global phenomenon. It's a global trophy. 30 six years old, Shanakar, since 1987, only a handful of men who have really committed to this cause have been able to hold it aloft. Uh, talk to us a little more about how important this rugby trophy is. Well, I think we can go back to the mid-90s, uh, Sudarshana. And that was probably where the William Webelis Trophy really got real prominence when it was won in South Africa. Yep. Because then it was not just a rugby tournament. Everybody expected the 1987 All Blacks to win. Uh, the 1991 uh, Australia win was probably not as flashy as that because they were the best team in the world and everybody knew that they were going to win. That game was, that was played in England. But to bring that cup to South Africa in a troubled country, just making its way out of apartheid, and for that moment between Francois Pina and uh, Nelson Mandela, Mandela, and it was just one of those moments. And when the cup was lifted a lot, you heard it, uh, that roar that came up at Ellis Park. So it's it's more than just a trophy. It's, uh, it's, um, it's something that signifies really important moments in history. And for the first black captain to lift that trophy as well, and for us, uh, not being part of the white world, you know, we identify more with colored people as well. So to see Siakal is lifted, being the defending champion, giving him a chance perhaps to do it again this year, who knows? It's, it's just not just a trophy, it's not a piece of metal with inscriptions on it, it is a real piece of history. It is indeed a momentous occasion to display the Web Bellis Trophy in Sri Lanka and this is a very, very special tour. Uh, even when the rugby union has not planned the world tour as yet. So all credit to MasterCard for making this happen for Sri Lanka and for all of us. And we would be in, we wanted to invite our premier clientele and some of y'all are ardent rugby fans to have this, uh, uh, share this moment with us, uh, to have a up close and personal moment with the World Cup. This tour, I'm, I'm told, has been designed specially for Sri Lanka as an exclusive event. So while thanking all of you, um, our customers, for being here with us to share this special experience. Our special gratitude goes to MasterCard for making this event possible. Uh, at a time like this, I think to be included in a trophy tour of this nature is an important event for Sri Lanka for reasons that I do not have to um, emphasize. Um, the Webelis Trophy, named after the founder of rugby, has been awarded to the winner of the uh, World Rugby Men's Championship since 1987, as Garmika mentioned. And I think it will uh, well, either change hands or, or, or stay with South Africa at the end of the uh, 10th Championship that is being held in France in uh, September, October this year. So for many of us who may not get the chance to be present at this tournament, this is um, a good chance to be, um, uh, you know, get up close and personal with uh, uh, an integral part of this championship, uh, the, the trophy with so much of history uh, behind it. It's a massive honour to be with the Ceylon contingent of the Sri Lanka women's basketball team that won themselves a gold medal at the South Asian Basketball Association Games which was held last year. And it's a warm welcome to Kiki and the rest of her team who she'll introduce to me. Yes, uh, so my name is Kamalini. And? Uh, and this is Charani Pereira. And that's Safan Epsiba, Washington Clay. And this is Ms. Jailia and Benika Thalagala. Well, many congratulations, Kamalini, on the uh, outstanding performance. It was in the Maldives and playing away from home. Tell us what that experience was like. So, uh, away from home, that itself explains how much of uh, pressure it was for us. Uh, so, um, we, we got to experience a lot of stuff that we have not experienced playing at our hometown. Uh, the entire stadium was full of uh, Maldivians and they were cheering on for Maldives. 
uh, one way or another but somehow we we pushed through we played we, we wanted to bring back a medal for sri lanka during this tough times so uh, that was our main goal for this south asian basketball association championship this time and today is a really important event you're getting to stand this close to uh, the rugby world cup trophy i know you guys are not rugby players but what does it mean to you to be able to be so close to such an important uh, uh, trophy so for me i i know a little bit about rugby i like uh, i love the all blacks so right when i when i was like when they said that um, this trophy is going to come to sri lanka i was like my gosh this is a big deal mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's uh, we are super excited we are very excited to see such a prestigious uh, cup come to sri lanka and uh, we are actually very grateful for master cards and everyone for bringing this here and showing us uh, what type of uh, giving us this experience it's it's it's, uh, it's amazing it's just it's breathtaking is amazing um kamalini you particularly you've come from jaffna you found a home now in colombo you're playing basketball here we were talking yesterday uh, also about how south africa got such a big boost when they won the world cup in a country that was very divided for you what has it, that experience been how have your teammates accepted you how has ceylon bank helped you guys to come together so uh, when i came from jaffna it was such a it was a huge shift for me because i came and i stayed here with my brother uh, and both my parents they were in jaffna uh, but despite all that like ceylon has been just amazing for me they have helped me in so many ways and 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 now even now uh, even epsiba she's also from jaffna mm -hmm. yes she's a, she's actually the top scorer for the south asian basketball championship wow so yes uh, they have been very accommodating to us and we have been uh, we have been extremely grateful to ceylon especially us coming from the north and can i ask some of the more senior players on the team what's it like being integrating with the youngsters a different generation what what's it been like uh, having them and being successful as a team yeah uh, i'm uh, i didn't play this tournament mm -hmm. that sabha they won the uh, uh, sabha championship before that 2000, 2016 we won the first time the sabha championship mm -hmm. this is the second time i think uh, most of the youngest were in our team in mm -hmm. 2016 i think uh, they got that uh, our experience and uh, how they they saw that how we managed the team and how the, how we went for that cup because that is the first time we won the uh, gold mm -hmm. medal for sri lankan basketball history yeah that's a, so, that was fantastic yeah. achievement <laughs> so i th i think that uh, for this time uh, that will be big help for them yeah for sure having that experience really helps and how has it been over the years uh, at ceylon they've really promoted their sports internally as well their rugby their basketball all netball all of that uh, so how has that helped you all as a team as as a professional team yeah uh, when we get ceylon i think uh, we got the most uh, opportunities for sportsmen from in back uh, 2000s and 90s also from this date and uh, we uh, for team team uh, games we get great help from from the management mm -hmm. to the uh, down and uh, they give our uh, for our job and the sport in the sports side also they give big help well that's uh, wonderful and hopefully the rest of the country will also be able to take an example from that and build a sporting culture because supporting each other is absolutely what we need thank you very much ladies you, congratulations once again and enjoy the rest of the the morning well it's not every day that you get to be in the room where you have the rugby world cup and it's not every day that you get to be in the same room as the rugby world cup and one of the most famous olympians of the country mr julian bolin absolute pleasure to be chatting to you uh, now talking about uh, this event today here the web belis cup how brilliant it is to be able to be in the same room and be this close <laughs> as the web belis cup i'm just getting goosebumps uh, just by thinking about it but here i am standing so close to it and i still remember the first world cup in 1992 uh, i think and i still 87. recall uh, 87 the story so the new zealand one 87 yes. 92 95 yep. those were years gosh i'm such a lover of rugby uh, it's my only uh, the weekends I just sit and watch rugby 
platform thanks to uh, the coverage we get uh, of the international games and the local thanks to papare uh, covering the local games so gosh for me i know the passion behind this sport um, the the love the players have for the game as well as now the trophy so it's a huge build up it's two years now people are talking of the uh, world cup coming up and in t- they said 200 days na so it's going to be um it's going to be i think a huge countdown and this is the country that loves rugby they play a lot huge amount of spectators so yeah i'm just one of those spectators so happy to be here and yeah how close are we to this eh? at this incredible outing we managed to bump into uh, the plate championship winning air force side coach shamli nawas coach absolutely brilliant to bump into you um, what do you think about the event today here at uh, cinema lake side organized by selan bank for giving pe- people their premium customers a chance to take a look at uh, the web belis trophy yes sir so this is a great opportunity for all the rugby, rugby loving uh, people in sri lanka and there's a huge lot of people loving rugby and i think we just finished a good uh, rugby season and we see a lot of people coming back to rugby and uh, i am really happy because i think this will be one of the first opportunity that we get so close to the world cup and uh, i was really thrilled to come here my friend julian invited me and i was uh, really keen uh, to come with him and uh, i think uh, this will uh, develop the game and people are talking about the world cup in sri lanka i think it's the only country that it's visiting in south east asia this time so i think uh, it's a great opportunity for everybody well with us is uh, the assistant general manager of marketing and sales uh, selan bank gamika de silva gamika you must be a, an absolutely thrilled man today uh, especially being able to bring your premier and red customers this once in a lifetime opportunity of being this close to the webelis trophy absolutely sudarshan i think this is a moment uh, I, i cannot express my feelings uh, it's a nice moment a momentous moment that you know sri lanka as a country that we are getting the opportunity to display the club uh, as well as we got the opportunity to invite our premier clientele to be up close and personal with the trophy uh, and it's a significant moment and you know it's further strengthens our partnership with mastercards as well uh, sudarshan well i never imagined that i'll get this close to the cup because like you know from what i heard you know uh, only the person uh, only the team who wins can really hold the cup others will have to wear a glove with yeah. all that stuff and getting this closer to the cup is a you know once in a lifetime opportunity and i'm like thrilled i know these photographs and everything that we can take with the cup you know it's just amazing you know i can't explain my feelings uh, now selan bank has been a very very active institution when it comes to supporting sport and also development of the younger generations of the country tell us a little bit more about how, what selan bank pa- plans to do and what yeah. they're currently doing to support the younger generations achieve their dreams absolutely so selan and uh, sudarshan has always been uh, in the forefront of unlocking somebody's potential i mean if you look at the history we are just marking 35 years in the market uh, we have had uh, cricketers from you know yester year from mahila jawandra kumar sangakkar chamind vas everybody has worked at selan and built their career and in the latest was uh, the last one in the cricketing team was uh, uh, noan kulasekar was with us mm-hmm. and today we have uh, the women's team four uh, players from the national women's basketball team who won the south asian championship is working with us we have the uh, sportsman from yester a table tennis hockey rugby you name it so we believe in unlocking somebody's potential we provide them grounds to you know unleash their talent and also we invest time and effort behind it and apart from the sporting side we look at you know even the products like tikiri that we provide the kids the opportunity to save and learn about finances and something that we believe as a country and as a company uh, that we need financial literacy in this country so that's what we are investing behind